I'm Ryan Noakes, and I want to help you transform your data and current reports into actionable insight. You see, most corporate reporting looks like this. It's a big table full of numbers, and we've got totals in here, we've got some filters, we've got the ability to slice and dice it a little bit, but there's still no insight. And without insight, we can't take action. So what, what does this table answer? What, what is the key question? What, what is the key insight? We don't know. It's not clear. Even if I have a question in mind, the answer doesn't jump off the page. Now, a lot of people think, well, if I could just get my data out of Excel and into a tool like Tableau, for example, that, you know, we could create some charts and, and we'd be fine. But it's still not quite there. Look, let's take an example. If we go out to Google and we do a search for executive dashboard, let's find one. Look, here's one. Executive dashboard, bacon defects, box sizes, and bacon sizes. No, sorry, box weights, bacon sizes. Okay, what does this tell us? You know, what, what, what insight are we supposed to do? What action do we take as a result of this? It's all charts, the colors look nice, but what are we supposed to do with it? It's not clear. You know, take, take another one. Here's one, this is pretty small, but it just says sales pipeline, sales pipeline by rep. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Who am I supposed to talk to? What am I, you know, what actions am I supposed to take? Now let's take another example. Here's one. This one is better. They pose questions and then at least then we have some sense of what we're trying to answer. How close are we to plan sales by category? That's better. Okay, what is our sales trend? We can see it comes down and up, but could they go further? Are there more insights that they could automate into this dashboard? Now this is the kind of work that I build. I build things like this. You'll see here that we use both visual best practices as well as written text to call out insights. So for example, here you go, there's a 227 unit change or 49% increase in the number of visits. Okay, so we get that very clearly, the visual backs it up. And then here we're using design best practices to pull something out. Visits per month, we see March is the peak. Here, both the title and the chart work together to give us insight. Most visits to stations happen between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. with the peak at nine. And then here, of the total visits, 5% led to manual shutdowns. And then we can drill in down below. This gets us to more actionable insight and we can get it very quickly. The reason I design work like this is because I follow a process every time. And it starts with context, always context, that's first. So who's the intended audience? What are the questions that we're solving for? How will this impact the business? What decisions will you make as a result? Are there certain targets or benchmarks or things that we need to compare to? Uh, is there a particular change you're trying to affect? Those kinds of things help me understand the questions that then pull out the insights. Okay, then from there, once we have context, we talk about data. So what does this metric mean? What is that? How do these pieces fit together? How often is this refreshed? Where is this coming from? Once we understand that, and we have the context, now it's time to design and bring it all together. So then, you know, there's questions here. Is it static or printed? Have I added the benchmarks and the context? Do insights jump out of the, uh, off of the page? Am I telling a story? Can I see what I'm supposed to do next as a result? Okay, so that's the process that I follow. And we've used this at lots and lots of clients. Here's a sample of some that we've worked with. These are companies you've heard of. And we've worked with dozens more of the Fortune 1000 doing the same kind of approach. I can do this for you. And again, what we're going to do is we're gonna move from things like this or even things with some charts and things but still don't give you the insight that you need to something like this where it spells it out, it shows it, and then people can look at it and go, I see it and I know what I'm supposed to do. So I'd love to work with you. Feel free to give me a call and let's talk.